Giovanni? Giovanni! Giovanni! Giovanni is glad to see you again. Need something? What happened to people in this town? They are parasited by bloodsucker. In addition, bloodsucker illness lasting. But Giovanni is okay because I do not drink dirty water. What has happened to Marceau? Stupid Marceau, in order to take away the heart of Campanella, he borrowed the power of Morag Ball. The trade off is that he figure, bent screw soul, he has been to the fallen beast of one animal, Giovanni will also become like that. Giovanni! Giova Giovanni's okay! Oh! <gasps> Marceau! Giovanni. 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 Alright, now I'm happy. I got to see Giovanni again. It's all good. It's all good. Hi there. Just doing a little bit more exploring. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! What, what gives? What, what gives? Alright. Slaver's house. He's protecting the slaver's house. Alright, let's uh, break in here. I see a vigilant in there. Whoop, there goes my lockpick. Almost. Oh, eh, not really. Oh, come on, so close. There we go, beautiful. Oh, that's not a... Oh, you're not a vigilant of Stendar. I don't know what you are. Oh, and it is your lord wanted to do the thing... That was how, when you were trapped in here to me, to open the key. No, was Hayate survived. Other knights? You never even said other knights. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Sir Henrik. No, but what there are supposed to return to Masamu Sato's monastery once to would not be want to hear the grumble of that old man who I... What the fuck are you saying? Why are you here? And can you please speak fucking English before I rip your goddamn pumpkin head off? That's Oran to remember much, and to remember where it was fueled slaves quotient and cheap booze, but I I heard cheap booze. Where is Slaver? I Oran of nowhere, if you notice, to the prison of Buchikoma. It's guy all that terrible. At all terrible. Alright, well you're free now, you're welcome. You want some torture tools? You want the hide of Abbot Salorn? I'll take that. Slaver's note. Dismal Troubadour, born to talk in bad narrator. Oh, dismal. Gotcha. Never mind. I know words now. Art of Aelid. Coin purse. Anything else I give a shit about? Coin purse. Okay. Alright, so let's head back to... Ooh, this is... <gasps> oh, and there's the white gold tower, like they were talking about before. That is... That's awesome. <gasps> I think I can go over there! I, I can't go this way over there, though, because you can see the, the edge of the world and, like, the seam in the water and stuff, so I can't go that way per se, but if I get through the gate, I might be able to. Alright, good to know. So if I head back to the, um, the watchtower, I can kill the scamp. I think I have to try and kill him sneakily, is what the guy was saying to me. Oh, what the fuck is this lizard man? Daedroth? He doesn't want to talk. Go figure. Um, so if I go into the watchtower, I have to sneakily kill the scamp captain, it sounds like. Otherwise, everyone will get pissed at me, go figure. Alright. Gotta climb to the top. I don't know if he's gonna be in this tower or the other tower, but hopefully if I can see him from this tower and he's in the other tower, I can still kill him. We'll see. I don't know if the towers face one another, if I can see from one to the other. I guess we'll find out soon enough. As I slowly ascend the staircase. Also, why did he need two different transition zones just to get me to the top of the tower? Because there was the one little hallway that had literally nothing to it. I don't think I can see the other watchtower from here. Doesn't look like it, no. Alright, he better be in the other watchtower, damn it. 
Otherwise, I'm confused and I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. He said Watchtower. He said Captain Scamp. It also doesn't help that most of the NPCs, they don't have a name when I go up to them. Better be in the other goddamn Watchtower. Alright, here we go again. Oh. Hello there, priests. All the way to the top. Once again, if he's not here, I'm gonna... I mean... I think the Captain Scamp might just be the... The weirdly dressed sort of demon looking dude. That had armor as opposed to the ones that didn't have armor. That would make sense to me, right? <gasps> Captain Scamp is here. Alright. This is good. I'm gonna save. Just to be safe. Uh-oh. I don't know if this is gonna piss... Everyone else off. It very well might. I honestly don't know. That's the thing. Keys to the fort. Scamp. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, Scamp Warlord. Please leave. I have no problem with you. I mean, actually, I do have a problem with you. You're all fucking Daedra, after all. Kill him! You're in the goddamn kill cam! God damn it, fucking... Oh, Skyrim. Fuck you too, game. I might very well have to fight my way out now. I don't know if that's going to detect or if I'm going to be alerted or if I've alerted everyone else. Because so I was hoping it would go down in one hit and obviously that did not happen. Maybe if I just put my weapon away and don't seem suspicious. Maybe if I just act casual, everything will be fine. Just got to act casual, everyone. Don't mind the fact that I went to that watchtower. Nothing suspicious happened at all. No. Just acting casual here. Don't mind the fact that I suddenly have the key. The guards are gone, actually. Alright. I have the key! Oh no, I need to use the key to the fort. If I use the key to the fort, which I saw earlier, I saw the fort. That'll give me the key to the gate, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Um, check my map. Watchtower, 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 Martha's house. Priory... Fort Varen's back that way. Okay, never mind. I remember I saw Fort Varen, I just didn't remember where it was, necessarily. That's Fort Varen, the big fort. Go figure. Hey, Daedroth, don't mind me. Hey, Scamps, don't mind me. Yeah, don't mind the fact that I suddenly somehow have a key. Jesus, this place is pretty. I love the custom banners and everything. Mod Author did a lot of work. Did a, some really, really great work. Obviously, I'm... I wish that I could understand what the fuck was going on, because the translation is just poop. But other than that, this mod is just in fucking credible. Just the level of detail, the level of work, just... It's all amazing. It's all just so well done. And I'm sure the story's really good, too, if I could actually understand it. Because the earlier stuff that I did understand was good. The stuff with, um... You know, the, the first vampire, the Bride of Molag Ball. I forget her name, but... You probably remember what I'm talking about from part, like, 4 or 5 or whatever. Hi there, scamp! Also, you know, the custom... I uh, it's custom textures because it's just a retextured Falmer, but still just... To make the scamps kind of like... Almost like they were in Oblivion, pretty incredible. I really like it. There's a lot of just custom stuff. Um, the open world space is really cool. The Cold Harbor world space is really nice. I'm really enjoying it. This area, too, is just all fantastic. And yes, I'm pretty sure there are... Use of some, um, resource packs from other mod authors, but still, just the way that everything's been incorporated and been done is just really good. And if there was a proper English translation, a full proper English translation, this would definitely be, um, you know, probably one of my favorite mods. As it is, it's still really good. Ruin of Soulless One, I'll take that. I'm just taking stuff. Because why the fuck not? I also don't know where I'm going necessarily. I'm just kind of walking around, minding my business. I figure eventually I'll find something. Oh, hey. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. If I just keep going... <gasps> See? Found something. I found something. I'm going to save... Hello there, sir. You and your fancy, fancy armor. 
Welcome, Keeper of Stendar. Let nanofiltration once again. My name is Vernicus. I am the death of kind. Humiliation which has received the difference it'll give to spell. Now! Does that mean he's gonna attack me? Yep, yeah it does. Of course it does. Are there people behind me? Oh no, it's just he sealed the, the barrier. Alright, doesn't knock him over, but it staggers him, which is good. If I can keep him staggered, it's good, because otherwise he's just gonna murder me with his sword. Just so you watch. I can. Oh! Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that! Oh my lord! Vernicus, you sli- you sly bastard, you. Karma, up! <gasps> Does that mean I can get the guy? Ooh, look at that bow. I'm gonna take- wait one, I'll take it. Daedric Lord boots. Alright. Key to waterfront gate. Ooh. Orky's flame clutch. Piece of ball, Vernicus. Vernicus and Borlor. Let's try to read it. Vernicus and Borlor by Tavi Dromeo. Halgird walked into the king's ham. <laughs> the king's ham. That Loretus evening, his face clouded with sadness while he ordered a mug of grief. His mates Garaz and Ziomara joined him with moderately sincere concern. What's wrong with you, Halgird? As Ziomara, you're later than usual and there's a certain air of tragedy you've dragged in with you. Have you lost money? Or a nearest and dearest? I haven't lost any money, Halgird Grimmest, but I've just re received word from my nephew that my cousin Aliok has died. Perfectly natural, he says, but just old age. Aliok was ten years younger than me. Ah, that's terrible, but it goes to show that it's important to savor all of life's possibilities, because you never know when your time is coming, said Garaz, who had been sitting at the same stool at the Smoky Corner Club for the last several hours. He was not one cursed with self-awareness. Life's short, all right, said Ziamara, but if you'll pardon a sentimental thought, few of us are aware of the influence we'll have after our deaths. Perhaps there's comfort there. For example, have I told you the story of Vernicus and Borlor? I don't believe so, said Halgird. Vernicus was a Daedra, said Ziamora, throwing a few dribbles on Flynn on the hearth to cast the proper mood. And though our tale took many, took place many, many years ago, it would be fair to say that Vernicus still is one. For what, after all, is time to the immortal Daedra? Actually, Garaz interrupted, I understand that the notion of immortality, I am trying to offer my friend an inspirational tale in his hour of need, Ziamara growled. I don't have all bloody night to tell it, if you don't mind. You wouldn't have heard Vernicus, said Ziamara, abandoning the theme of immortality for the time being. For even at the height of his power and fame, he was considerably feeble by the admittedly high standards of the day. Of course, this lack of respect infuriated him, and his reaction was typical of Lesser Daedra. He went on a murderous rampage. Soon word spread through all the villages in the Clovian west of the Unholy Terror. Whole fl families had been butchered, castles destroyed, orchards and fields torched and cursed, so nothing would ever grow there again. To make things even worse for the villagers, Vernicus began greeting visitations from an old rival of his from Oblivion. She was a Daedra seducer named Horavatha, and she delighted in taunting him to see how angry she could make him become. You've, flood you've flooded a village and that's supposed to impress? She would sneer. Try collapsing a continent and maybe you'll get a little attention. Vernicus could become pretty angry. He didn't come very close to collapsing the continent of Tamriel, but it wasn't for lack of trying. A hero was needed to face the mad Daedra, and fortunately, one was available. His name was Borlor, and it was said that he had been blessed by the goddess Kynareth. That was the only explanation for his inhuman accuracy with his bow and arrow, for he never missed a target. As a child, he had driven his marksmanship tutors wild with frusta frustration. They would tell him how to plant his feet, how to knock a bolt, the proper grip for a cord, the best method of release. He ignored all the rules, and somehow, every time, the arrow would catch a breath of wind and sail directly to his target. It did not matter if the quarry was moving or still, at very close range or miles away. Whatever he wanted to strike with his arrow would be struck. Borlora answered the call when one of the village mayors begged him for help. Unfortunately, he was not as great a horseman as he was an archer, as he rode through the forest towards the mayor's town, a place called Evan... Eveniscon. Evensicon. Vernicus was already murdering everyone there. Horavatha watched and stifled back a yawn. 
Murdering a small town mayor isn't going to put you in famous company, you know. What you need is a great champion to defeat. Someone like Ysgrimor, or Polino Whitestreak, or... She stared at the figure emerging from the forest. That fellow! Who is he? growled Vernicus between bites of the mayor's quivering body. The greatest archer in Tamriel. He's never missed. Borlor had his bow strung and was pointing it at the Daedra. For a moment, Vernicus felt like laughing. The fellow was not even aiming straight. But he had a well-honed sense of self-preservation. There was something about the man's lack of confidence, look of confidence, that convinced the Daedra that Horavatha wasn't lying. As the bolt left the bow, Vernicus vanished in a sheet of flame. The arrow impaled a tree. Borlor stood and stared. He had missed the target. In oblivion, Vernicus raged, feeling fleeing before a mortal man like that. Not even the biggest scamp would have been so craven. He had exposed himself for the weak, cowardly creature he was. As he considered what steps to take... Oh, God, how long is this book? Jesus Christ, this is long. Um, I... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm very happy because the book is actually <laughs> something I can read and understand, but God damn, that is way too long. I would be here for the next half hour. Can I drop down here safely? Yeah, I can, right? Yeah, safely enough. A uh, little bit more parkour action, I suppose. Thank you, Mod Author, for adding an easier way down. Makes my life a lot easier. Granted, it's just going downstairs, so it wouldn't have been that difficult to begin with, but still, always nice. Hello there, how are you, Alessian priest? I, I was gonna say Alessian believer, but the garb and then the name implied, you know, it's not a not just a believer. Ooh, what is this? Forbidden Tome. Blinding Fire. I'm guessing it's supposed to be, say, Blinding. Eight Saints of Sirid. I'll take that, because it might be important for later. Who knows? I don't, so... Hence why I take it. Why did I ignore that door before? Whoops-a-doodle. Whoops-a-doodle, everyone. Don't worry about me. Alright, so now I have the gate key, so we can go through. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I will probably be doing this mod next week as well. Hi. Don't mind me, scamps. Uh, there's the gate. Hopefully they don't all attack me once I open it. Lovely. I'm gonna close the gate behind me. Can I... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Where am I going? I got my karma up. Let me see if that one guy will follow me now. The, uh, the Sir Amel, or Ariel, or whatever the fuck his name was, because it's not like I remember anyway. And I'm guessing we might have to go to the White Gold Tower in Cold Harbor, because... It was mentioned by that first priest in the in the priory. Priory? Priory? I don't know, because, well, it's not a word that comes up in my everyday vocabulary. Go figure. But I do want to talk to the guy. Hi. I heard his... I heard him snarling, and I was like, oh, do I need to worry about this guy at all? No? Okay, good. This is a really... Really cool mod. Oh no, is the guy not here? Where did he go? Did he leave? Damn it. He left me. Damn it, sir. D oh, there you are. What do you need? Can you help me? Sorry, I cannot trust you. Damn it, I need more karma. God damn it, Fallout. Just give me back my karma. You son of a slut. Alright, so back to the gate. We'll just go through, see what I can do. Explore the rest of this place, find a way out, obviously, because I'm just kind of trapped here in oblivion right now, which is never exactly a good thing. But at least, you know, as long as I'm stuck in oblivion, thank God that it's pretty. Because this is really, really goddamn pretty, I'm not gonna lie. It's just so well done, and a lot of the architecture I recognize being from, um... The Soul Cairn, so kind of like I said before, you do need, um... The Dongard DLC. Either way, just such an enjoyable mod. So well done. So, so good. And I like that the mod does not hold your hand. It makes my, it makes it a little harder for me because of the fact that it's like, oh, well, um, there's no goddamn, uh, proper English, uh, translation. Oh, hi there. Oh, you're, okay, you don't like me. Sand Scorpion, go figure. Uh, but if there was a proper English translation, it probably would be easier to figure out 
to some degree, some of the parts where I've gotten stuck before. Great that I've never gotten too stuck, so it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Oh, man. Just... How much work went into this mod? It's it's ridiculous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a big one. That is a big one, indeed. Oh, God. Oh, Sand Scorpion. Look at his fat belly, for that matter. Look at his fat, stupid belly. He is right on top of me. And yes, I could use Dragon Rend on him, but... I'm alright with keeping him at a distance, because I feel like if he attacks me, I'll just go down in a second. Did I miss that? Seriously? What did he just shoot at me? Did he just shoot sand at me? Did he just yell sand in my face? I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. Go away. Oh, yeah, he's just shooting sand dicks at me. Let's search him. because he. Oh, God. Altano's remains. Um, Daedra Heart. Dragon Soul Bone. Ebony Blade of Mercy. Elite Vigilant Armor. Elite Vigilant Boots. I'm going to be over-encumbered soon, just so you watch. Malign Magicka Potion, Piece of Ball, Mentana, Piece of Ball, Vigilant, Altano, and a Sticky Key. Gross. Gotta love them Sticky Keys, everyone. <gasps> Another Priest. Oh, Pepe! Thank you, Defleet. Defeat the Flies. I can walk without hesitation. Why are you here? Would have said, it's Walk. And he is to go outside Yoyato. About it will be forgiven, even decrepit this. Tell me around tell me about around here. Territory of certain, Servala. If you do not want to be a food of hound, not approach the fort in east, toward the north from here. Tell me about Varla. Knight Dono raised achievement in purification of Malata, but the Shokan Niki is rotten. Kojiru to human hunting with hounds. Close allegiance to Molok Ball after Fell in this wasteland, getting the territory while he human. Be careful. Well, how do I get to the Imperial City? There is a main gate of the Imperial City to the north of here, but the door is closed hard in preparation for the Order invasion. But there is a way. There is a large sewer leading to the prison tower into the northeast of the island. Poor settle down. The good, as you crawl like a rat out of there. It is wood put into the Imperial City if you're lucky. Luck permitting. What is the ordeer? Or what is the order? I was going to say ordeal. Army of Infilite Jigalag led to come innovated or so av ago several decades began to conquer the continent in the blink of an eye. Disappearance is absorbed into the Jigalag most of the area after defeat in the decisive battle of the way and leave only the island. It's so tight the barrier by consuming the souls of many there is a limit to the soul of man. Moreover the power of Molag Ball also drying. Barrier will be broken in the near future. At that time the march of Grey Sound Wasteland it will crush all. What happened in the decisive battle of the way? During the battle, manifestation of Jigalag began. Cocoon of silver, glittering appear, evaporated, presence all around. It was a dazzling light. It was beautiful enough to hark. Esurisu has come down. I've shed tears without Toshigai. Anyway, most of the higher nobility had disappeared. All that remains is just incompetence, Duke and Vernicus. Ah, uh, I remember the last of the former Empire Alessia. There is no such chance of winning, only such ruin. All right. Thank you, Pepe. Thank you, Pepe, indeed. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Also, I like the... I guess that would be Akaviri architecture. Either way, this is all incredible. And I was not expecting there... I was not expecting this area to be as large as it was. As open world as it was. With all these different areas to explore. I'm going to be... I'm going to be here forever. This might be another... 20 parter like um like Somerset Isle or Wheels of Lull it's hard to say right now because I just I don't know because I'm still just figuring this out but this mod is I see why people recommended it god damn this is this is massive I, I knew I knew they were going to attack so I just attacked first 
I oh, hi there. I don't want to necessarily go into anywhere yet. Come on, attack him! Don't use the fucking kill cam without attacking him, damn it. Goddamn Skyrim. Um, so I need to make my way to the Imperial City. I almost said Oblivion City. This whole place is the Oblivion City. He said go north. So let's keep heading north. But yeah, this is already part 10, and I... I would imagine that this area is going to keep me here for a while. I missed the Hound of Varla. There goes the Hound. And here goes his master. So yeah, he said go north. I have to use the sewers to reach the Imperial City. Okay. I forget, is Cold Harbor... You know, according to lore... Is Cold Harbor supposed to be a, um, a matching version of the real world or of the Imperial City? Because I honestly just don't remember, because I know that each plane of Oblivion is different, and there's more than just the ones that the, that the Daedric Princes inhabit. Um, but I forget which one is, so obviously we've seen, what is it, the Deadlands? I think it's the Deadlands, which is, um, which is... Not Molag Bulb, which is, um, Merun's Dagon, so that's the one you see in Oblivion, primarily. So, you know, the very hellish-looking one that everyone's familiar with. Uh, we've also seen... We've seen Cold Harbor in ESO, um, which is very similar to the Soul Cairn, for that matter, which makes sense. We've seen... I don't know if I would really count... What we've seen from Sanguines. Because we really haven't seen much of it. I can't hit the knight for some reason. You see this, right? Oh, well, he dodged that one, so. Okay, yeah, I can't seem to hit him. But he can definitely hit me, so let's keep our distance from him. We'll find a way up to him. Oh, we've seen, I mean, it's very obvious. We've seen, um, what's his face? Uh, Shiagorath, we've seen in the Shivering Isles. Hence... The entire DLC, the expansion called Shivering Isles. Okay, I couldn't hit him because he was in a different cell, that's why. Which is odd that he could hit me then. I'm almost over encumbered, so I'll have to ditch some junk. Let me start ditching junk now, frankly. Stuff that I don't need. That really doesn't help too much with the weight, but whatever. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to ditch stuff that I'm not going to use. Alright. Okay. That'll have to do for now. Oh, that just fell out of the cell, didn't it? Uh, I came up here just to kill the guy. Oh, there's a guy over there as well. Let me go over to the other corridor. Just to take him out so that he's not an issue for me. Which is funny because only the guard in the north corridor was attacking. We also have two guards down there by the Alessian entrance. This place is massive. He doesn't even see me yet. Just how I like it. Boop! Oh god. Did it hit him? Oh ho <laughs> ho! Oh, that worked! I thought that wasn't gonna work. That's incredible. I'm so happy now. So we have the Alessian entrance. We have... Um... Do we have anything up here? No, this isn't even a doorway. I thought it was. It kind of looked like it would lead to a doorway of some sort. Let me discover what's over here if I can. Unless all of that's just inside the Imperial City, and I have to gain access to that first. I don't know. We'll find out. Get all these houses. Chestnut handy stables. Okay. I want to discover just a couple more things so I know where the hell I am. And he said go north, and I can still go north. I can always fast travel, too, which is, you know, absolutely fantastic. Uh-oh, we got something over here. Ah! 
Oh, I hit him. Oh, that's good. Yeah, down you go, Mr. Priest. I don't make a habit of killing priests, but when they open fire on me first, you know. All's fair in love and war. And oblivion, you know. You yeah, know. What? Is that a giant sand scorpion right there? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Called it. Giant sand scorpion. Ooh, Mita Village. Discovered. It's been invaded by the sand scorpions. That or the sand scorpions live here and I'm attacking the village's inhabitants. Which, it's not like I care because it's oblivion. But I do like that, you know, the mod essentially created, like, a land. It created a plane of oblivion that, you know, people live in, that people reside in, which... I like because it's very similar to um, what you see in Shivering Isles with um, Shiagorth's Realm, which is just still one of the best DLCs of all time as far as I'm concerned. Alright, awesome. So I'm going to stop here for this week, but I'll be playing uh, this more next week now that I've essentially gotten to the best part of the mod as far as I'm concerned. So let me just wrap up these hounds right here. Woof woof, who let the dogs out, bitch? There's one more, he's still paralyzed. God, look at that face. It's disgusting. Alright. Oh, he's stuck in the air. Yep, nope, that's uh, not a flattering angle or a flattering face. Alright, so I'll see you guys next week. I'll be doing this more. Like I said, there's been a bit of a Skyrim mod drought lately, so... If nothing else, that that's good, I guess, because it gives me more time to focus on this rather than having to worry about switch to other mods. Uh, so I'll see you guys next week for some more Skyrim Saturday mod review extravaganza. God, we got two guys over there, and they're gonna kick my ass. Just you watch.